This video discusses rotator cuff repair with the Rotium Bioresorbable Wick. As we prepare the tuberosity for this full thickness tear, we can see that there is a delaminated edge of the supraspinatus tendon. First, our goal is to get the soft tissue off and then with either a aggressive burr or aggressive shaver, we can prepare the tuberosity. An anchor is then positioned in appropriate fashion in the center of the tear. Marrow vents are also made during this process. The anchor is then appropriately positioned. Once the anchor is positioned, we are able to go to the use of the patch and the rhodium patch is then brought onto the field. A bird beak is able to be placed centrally through it. It is robust enough to accommodate this without tearing. The sutures are then able to be grabbed through it and it is loaded onto the sutures. This is then pushed down all the way to the cannula. Once there, we are able to fold it with a suture grasper and position it underneath the cuff at the position we would want it underneath the tendon on the greater tuberosity. Once into the shoulder, our goal is to position this bioabsorbable wick underneath the rotator cuff to absorb the growth factors that will come out from where we made our marrow vents. Our Once goal is to capitalize on the growth factors from the marrow vents in order for a good repair of the tendon. Once positioned appropriately, then a standard repair is completed. Here we are able to use a suture passer with smart suture technology in order to try to get this repair completed. Four horizontal mattress sutures are then passed. Once these are passed, we are able to tie down our medial row, which will then position this rotium patch appropriately underneath the footprint, both medially and laterally. As we continue to pass our sutures, we will be able to really establish a good footprint for the repair. And again, making sure that the rhodium bioabsorbable wick is appropriately positioned in appropriate fashion. Here we make our final adjustments. Once this is done, the knots are tied along the medial row. Again, a standard repair can be done in any fashion that is appropriate to the surgeon. In this particular case, this patient has good quality tissue and therefore a product that would either increase the size of the tissue is not necessarily needed in this type of repair. Our goal here is just healing of a good, healthy tendon. Finally, we will put down our lateral row. In this case, we are using self-punching anchors with a peak eyelet. Final tension is positioned in this anterior anchor. Next, we are able to take the sutures that are remaining for the posterior anchor, and we can see just a tiny sliver of the rhodium patch If there was extra, we could remove this with a meniscal biter, but in this case, we'll leave it in position. We're happy with our tension and our repair. The final anchor is going in. Lastly, we will look at our repair and make sure we are happy, and we can see we have an excellent double row fixation with good compression of the cuff, as well as the rhodium patch is completely covered and in between the tendon and the tuberosity. Thank you.